Hi there, YouTube. All right, so yesterday was my birthday, and I got a few things from different family members and also something I picked out for myself. So my mother-in-law and her best friend swung by first, and it was funny because <laughs> they were both dressed up in the Christmas spirit. Um, one was an elf and one was like Mrs. Claus. It was because they were doing... Um, church food bank stuff so <laughs> that was funny um mm. <clears throat> sorry it's a little froggy this was my birthday card i know what you're thinking it's a halloween card yes it's because i much prefer uh halloween over every holiday so yeah it uh That'll wake you up. I got this uh, <clears throat> funny adult coloring book. And, uh, you know, just, just, you know, adult humor. I mean, I wish the picture was a bit more detailed. These are seriously just like pictures of fruit, fruit and, and foods. Uh, but they all have like a jokes with it, you know? So, yeah. Uh, I got this cute, adorable Princess uh, Peach figurine. Uh, my mother-in-law got a whole bunch of these individually wrapped up in a set because she does resale and everything. And, um, I didn't realize she'd already planned one out for me. So, I was all like, you know, when I saw them at first, I was like, ooh, that one she kept like you know forgetting to bring it over and whatnot um we went out to main event we had some gift cards we were there we were having a great old time one of the people that works there actually gave us a card that had um like a time limit on it like an hour once you activate it you get to play for an hour and uh with the two gift cards i had they each had like a 25 dollar set which when you translate that over into points we started out with like 1400 uh no not 1400 or something like that and then um then you get tickets and everything so anyway um we're playing games and whatnot and at the end of it i uh go and tally it up and i was able to get this hermione granger funko pop now okay yeah she was 1400 points and I'd only managed to uh, secure about like 820 for myself. But I told the guy, I was like, well, this is my first time being here. It's my birthday. Uh, this is pretty much the only thing I wanted. He was like, okay, well, we'll we'll let you get, you know, that. And I was like, wow, I, I barely even have half, you know. Or, so that was really nice of them. Um, so they came through with me for that. And we went to Vintage Stock. And I happened to find... This Princess Buttercup action figure that was originally $19.99, marked down to $10. This has 22 points of articulation, but her dress, uh, the skirt part is fabric. The rest of it is molded plastic, and so is her hair. So no, she's not a doll. She's still an action figure. They had her, they had her in her wedding dress version, but I didn't quite like that one nearly as much. And then they had that, um... That minstrel from The Witcher. I don't know. I never watched it. You know, so I just like, whatever. Anyway, iconic. Had to have it. So I was I was actually going to buy this for myself. But Hubby's like, no, no, no. I got it. <coughs> then after, oh, and while we were there, I, I found some stickers. These were 99 cents each. So I got um, Emily Lee, the Corpse Bride. And then I got three Pokemon ones. And they were all Gen 1s. And these are some of my favorites right here. So, yes, I could not resist. Um, Kiddo also picked out herself um, some stickers as well. And a thing of candy. Alright, then afterwards we hit uh, Target because I said um, we can just pick up something for dinner while we're there. And, and dessert and then head home. So I was over in the ornament department and I found this adorable baby fawn. It is soft 
and he's got the most cutest innocent face ever why would anyone shoot a baby deer and um i was thinking i want to use this in a diorama for my next craft project but then i actually like him so much i I think I'm going to have to go back to Target and get another one to keep because this little SOB is so cute. Alright, so, uh, in the toy department, I went ahead and picked out my birthday present, which is Victoria Whitman. This is a Rainbow High, I believe a Series 4 uh, character. I absolutely love her look because she's got strawberry blonde hair, which is actually how my hair used to look when I was a child, but she's covered head to toe in freckles. And they're light, but I'll give you a close-up review um, in a different video. But they they had like two, three uh, dolls, so I was just like taking a look and just seeing the variations. And I went with this one because <coughs> she had a bit more showing on her legs. I I really, I really love it. Oh, and apparently um, in her profile, she is an Australian character, which is great. But... Um, the accessories are cute. I still just wish that, you know, they would have two outfits. And then when we got home, um, Hubby pulled this out. And he's like, I've been having this hiding. I was hiding this from you for a, a couple weeks. Um, so this is Monique Verbania. She is from Shadow High Series 2, which came out the same time as um, Rainbow High Series 4. And so these two lines were going up against each other. The great thing is both these girls each come with a cell phone, but um, they are very different. And I will make sure they each get their own review because they both deserve it. I also have another incoming gift from a friend of mine, which I don't know what it is. So that will be, that will also be added on in its own you know video later on. So. And the last thing, which was also from my mother-in-law, is this really cool Nightmare Before Christmas scrub top. But it doesn't feel like a scrub top. It says it's made with stretch ethical fabric, ultra soft. And my mom was in nursing for 20 years, so I know how scrub tops feel. And this, this doesn't feel like a scrub top. And I'm just like, ooh, can't wait to try it on and see how. See how comfy that is? Because, uh, yeah, scrub tops are great for casual wear you know, if you're not working or if you're just doing stuff around the house. Anyway, so yes, forgive my voice. I'm still, you know, a little, you know, I'm at least on the recovery side of it. But there, there are days when it gets a little too much. But all in all, it was a good birthday. We had good weather. It wasn't absolutely freezing which is great because the cold weather does not do well for me and I usually end up being sick around this time which really sucks but um I just wanted to share all this uh lovely beautiful stuff and thank everybody who wished me a happy birthday and you know who, who got me gifts and all, and all that and it's like it doesn't matter if you're an adult you can still take joy in the things that you like whether it's you know fandom stuff or toys and or even coloring books i'm a big kid at heart and this is what i like so that doesn't mean i'm any less mature than any other adult out there but yeah um so this is this is my thing Alrighty, well bye everyone